ho, ho, ho. Let me go ahead and find this video so I can read the comments because I can't see that far. This is going to be like a quickish live just to say hey. Post this in the Facebook group. Facebook. Hey Kelly. Hey Jasmine. Hey Keenan. Hey Mitch. Hey Kelsey is moving so fast. Hi Sherry. Hey Jessica. Chavez. Hi Rosemary. Hey everybody. Hi Tech. I think it says Tech Vantage. I can't see that far. <laughs> Hold on. Let me um put it in the Facebook group. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, Jasmine. Okay, Tina, I'll try to remember. Hi, Ada. Hi, Wendy. Hey, Melissa. How can I get fabric with everything being closed? Your best bet is Etsy. I think, well, Joanne's is still shipping, I believe. Guys, if you can give this video a thumbs up, I appreciate it. Joanne's is still shipping. Hobby Lobby, I believe, is still shipping. Um, and then Etsy. Most people who have their business based on their own home, they can still run their business. Hi, everybody. Let me go ahead and put this in the group. Wow, I can't spell. Excuse me. Hi. Let me. Who has a creepy smile on the thumbnail? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Rosemary. Joanne is. Yeah, some Joannes are doing curbside. Yep, United Thread is still open. Yep, somebody asked me that earlier on the in the Facebook group. United Thread is still open. Hi, Diamond and Pearls. Etsy total. We got two shipments in two days. Yeah, Etsy, because people are still home. It's like, I tell you guys with my ribbon, I'm based out of my own home. So it's not like I can't <laughs> run things out of my own home. And the post office just comes, picks up you guys' order, orders. So I don't have to go anywhere. Oh, your drans only lets 10 people in at a time. Well, that's smart. I'll say that. The cricket. Yeah, someone made fun of me because I called it cry cut. <laughs> Hi, Irma. I think that says Irma. Hi, Lily. Let me go back to the video so I can actually read this. Hi, Lamari. I want to know a little more about the, this cricket. So this is the... You guys can't see it all the way, but... Without showing up too much of my mess. This is the Explore Air 2. Um, so this is older I've had it for like three years now they have the Cricut maker which I'm not gonna get I don't think because I don't I just use it to cut vinyl that's all I use it for hi Annabelle I don't know why I'm still trying to read it over there hi Melissa I have the Explore Air 2 can't go inside of your joins um, I buy my shirts from airbnblanks.com, but they are currently closed, so your best bet is blanksboutique.com. Hi, Ler Lerleen. Oh, you're from St. Thomas. So am I. My father's from St. Thomas. Um, so I have to just make um two vinyl shirts. It's the same shirt. Well, actually, no, I have to make three. Because Stephanie ordered... One of these shirts, even though this is a hoodie, she ordered my golden time sensitive, so I need to make her shirt today. Hi, Olivia. How's everybody doing? If you guys can give this video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. You just close out the chat and then hit the thumb up button. That way. Um, this hoodie is, I should know my prices, Angela. Let me look real quick. 
I know you guys see me, I always wear this hoodie because my house is freezing or the basement is so cold. So I stay wearing this because it's the warmest hoodie. It's, it's, it's nice and warm. No, I do not. Um, I get the, the screen print transfers made for me. Um, wrong button. The hoodie is, oh, that's it. <laughs> the hoodie is $29.99. So, yeah. And it's free shipping. I did 21. I can't read all that. I need to go. Oh, Lordy. Well, thank you, Yashi Pat. I did 21 sublimated shirts today and added six new ones today. Woo, girl, you've been busy, but good job. Hi, Stephanie. I got to make a shirt. Uh, what's the best embroidery machine if you have used the smaller ones? The best to me, the best small embroidery machine like is the Brother PE eight hundred um, small wise. I know Danny has like the Novus something, but it's like thirty five hundred dollars, and I feel like for that much you should get the Alliance instead. But it's all up to you. Riley's with her daddy upstairs. Hey, Christy. Okay, so you want something bigger than the Brother P800. So your only other option really is either you get like the Novus, because I think it has like bigger hoops, like something by 6 by 10 maybe. I Don't quote me on that. So the Brother and Novus, they have that one. But like I said, that's like $3,500. And to me, that's there's no point in getting that. You might as well get um, either a multi-needle or... This machine, the Baby Lock um, Alliance, or they, it's called, I think, the Brother Persona, because they're like $4,500. So it just saves you time in terms of um, having to hold it. You don't have to sit there and babysit it. Hi, Judy. Hi, Nora. <laughs> Guys, I swear to you, I've tried to get glitter ribbon. Either it's crap quality or it's like way too expensive so i'll keep trying i know everyone keeps asking me that even i want to find it for myself because i hate paying the money at uh the money for it from hobby lobby it's so expensive hi lakeisha thank you thank you irma do you have a preference on multi machines brother Acoma, baby lock etc um, currently, my favorite machine that I don't even own yet is a Melco. Um, that's my favorite machine so far. But if I tone it down a little bit, I love Brother. Um, I don't have a Rakoma. A lot of people ask me that. A lot of people in my Facebook group have the Rakoma EM1010. Almost like a lot of people. Because almost every day someone's posting that they just got it. So a lot of people have the Rakoma EM1010. I have no experience with it, so I can't really help you there. But most people say they like it. That's all. That's really all I can say. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and brother and baby lock are the same machine per se. Um, they're both made in the same factory, I believe. And um, it's two brothers that own brother. Brother and baby lock. One owns brother. One owns baby lock. So it's like the same thing. I have both a six needle from brother, a six needle from baby lock, and they're pretty much the same. Um, Cla Claudria, um, I just get all my fabric from Joann's, and then when it's on sale, I usually will buy the whole bolt just because it's on sale. So a lot of you guys ask me about sizing for what size I put on every shirt. I literally make it the biggest size it possibly can be. That's literally the answer. It's not like, oh, four inches, three inches. It's literally as big as I can make it is as big as you should put it. Like as big as your hoop lets you make it. Put it that way. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah, I don't, have, I don't have a Melco yet. I don't. Not yet. I want one. I want it. I want it now. Um, hey, Arlene. How to make spirit on the cricket for my daughter's third birthday? 
You mean like Spirit the Horse? There's so many questions. Oh, Lizette, Alpha Broder. Alpha Broder. Here, I'll type it in. Alpha Broder. Everything. Oh, dot com. So, to make like Spirit, either you can buy the SVG already for Cricut. Um, because that's like a lot of, well, not a lot of laying. You have to layer color and color. Um, but you can buy it from Etsy. Someone should have it on Etsy. Woohoo, Betty. Congratulations. Betty bought my course and she already got one sale. Wow. Good job, Betty. Oh, thank you, Karina. How do you prevent stitching from sinking on a shirt? So that usually has to do with quality of your shirts. Um, when I used, because I used Walmart shirts to begin with, and then I used Gildan shirts. But the thinner the shirt, the more likely it's going to get caught inside the cruise, Keenan. He means the course. <laughs> the shirt will get caught inside the machine if your shirt is too thin. Um, you can try putting more stabilizer, but that is why I use ARB and Blanks Boutique because they're such a thicker, so it's less likely for them to get stuck. Hi, Cindy. Do, do, do. Hi, Maria. So I don't you I don't have Sew Up Pro Lamar. I don't know if your name's Lamari. I don't have Sew Up Pro. I only have in Brilliant Sew Up Pro, Danny and Pamela. So Sterling Styles is her YouTube channel, and then Sweet Threads Gifts is the other YouTube channel. They both use Sew Up Pro. How often do I order apparel to avoid so many shipping charges? So I used I in the beginning I would order like once a week. Um, and at a certain point I would order once a month and just order a bunch, um, because I do get mad when I order stuff. And then, um, let's say I order five shirts and they're a size 4T and then literally a few hours later, somebody else orders the shirt and I already used them all and I'm out and I hate having to order more after I just ordered cause I don't want to pay extra shipping. Um, so I usually try to place a big enough order. So, you know. I would recommend the P800. I wouldn't, I never recommend the SE625 because it is too small. You're going to outgrow that machine in a day because you're going to want to make something. Yes, Keenan. Um, oh, Karina, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> hey, Jessica, I was answering somebody's question. Oh, the 6P, not P, the SE625. Um, because it's a four by four, it's literally like this big. And depending on what you want to do, you can't make birthday shirts with the with a hoop this big. That's too that's too small. So I always uh well, Keenan, that's just because of what's going on right now. Um so yeah, I think I answered the question. Hi Kathleen, hope you're enjoying <laughs> your vacation. <laughs> Still your long vacation. Um, so yeah. What made you choose the most needle you have? Um, because I already had a brother, PE, eight, not 800, I had the 770. Because I already had that one, I was familiar with their interface, which means like how their machines work. So when I, my options were at that time, it was going to be a brother six needle, a Racoma, or a Melco. And at the time, I was terrified of the Melco, which I I regret. I wish I would have would have got the Melco, but I didn't. <laughs> um, and another th reason I didn't get the Melco was because it didn't have a screen. Which now that I know more about embroidery, the whole computer is the screen, Angela. So there's that. And then, um, like I said, I was just more comfortable with Brother since I already had the Brother machine. And at the time, not a lot of people had the Racoma. Most people in my groups had Brothers. So I was like, well, if I have a question, I wanted to make sure I had somebody to ask. So I chose the brother. <laughs> J 
Jessica. <laughs> um, uh, people really are bored to death. Not you guys. They're just the trolls are bored. Um, I don't have a a print and cut. I don't make adult tutus. No. I'm trying to read. If I miss a question, just ask it again because it's going so fast. Oh, thank you, Jeanette. You would have started with the, Mo the Melco. So, at the time, I only I had only the P800, and then I had gotten the Alliance, which is that one back there. Um, so, I was ready for a multi-needle. I was scared to get a multi-needle. Um, but if I could go back and redo it, I wish I would have got the Melco instead of uh, these machines. Now, these machines are very user friendly so that's why another thing i love about them they're very user friendly i love the screen on them um so so yeah <laughs> jessica and keenan y'all are gonna be busy <laughs> um i buy my shirts from arb blanks and blanks boutique do you still sell embroidery files and do you make custom ones for others to make also i love your videos so much Hi, Rav. So the the embroidery files we have on the website, those are pretty much all we have right now. Um, Keenan has been so busy with work now that he has no time to digitize anything. So, so if he gets more time, then he will. Hi, Terry. Okay, so no. Well, this one... Yes, so this is a stand that's made specifically for this machine. Um, this table is from Ikea because the stands are like $700 from Brother. And this is the first machine I got, and I did not have the money to spend an extra $700 on the table. And the lady um, was like, well, I have an Ikea table that I use. I'll send you a picture of it. Um, and it, I think total this is like $100 for the table. So I was like, well, I'd rather spend hundred dollars than seven hundred dollars for something to hold the machine up. So this one comes with it. Well, not that it comes with it, but it's made for, and you can buy it for seven hundred dollars. Um, and this one is an older version stand. Um, and that one is five hundred dollars now since they came out with this table thingy, which is the new one. Dun, dun, dun. Hi, Sally. The screen print transfers, I do not, I get them made. And I have this, the uh, screen print transfers. So, I have the screen print transfer company I use to make my screen print transfers in the top secret document. A lot of you guys already have it, so it's in there. Okay, Bernice. <laughs> Kathleen. <laughs> I'd be I'd be so sad if I was waiting for my machines that long. So this is the brother entrepreneur six plus, and that is the baby lock endurance too. You think I would know the names? <laughs> my name is not Jessica. My name is Angela. Um, how much tool do you use for a size eight two two? Um, are you guys in the group? If you're in the Facebook group, um, that's a question everyone asks almost every day, 10,000 times a day. So I have a size chart that one of you guys made for us, um, and it has all the sizes on there, but pretty much, um, a five, hold on, four T is 10 yards, five T would be 11, seven, 12, eight. So eight, the size eight, I would say is about 12 to 13 yards of tool. <laughs> Lily, <laughs> can you find time to make a 2020 graduate file with the zeros being the toilet paper? I saw that. The Facebook group, is it not linked below? It is. It's linked down below in the description to the video. Um, it's called Embroidery and Help Motivation by Angela Jasmina. Yours truly. Don't. Oh, Bernice. Okay, okay. Oh, Bernice, I think, I think you sent it, somebody sent it to me, but it, it, okay, just go ahead and send it to me. Um, machine is behind me, 
This is the Brother Entrepreneur 6 Plus. Be embellished. How have I been doing with quarantine? Well, I'm already a loner that sits in the house all the time, so it's kind of the same, honestly. <laughs> no, but um, I guess it's. I've been okay. It's annoying, but it is what it is. Yes, guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Why can you on do only certain sizes with your alliance? Okay, so with this machine, the biggest hoop that it comes with is an 8x8. Now, the 8x8 hoop does not fit inside of a 2T, a 3T, or anything smaller. So the smallest shirt that can fit on the 8x8 hoop is a 4T. Now, yes, I could put this tiny 5x7 hoop inside of a 2T or a 3T, but the design is so small. So that is why I do not um, use this hoop for um, 3T, 2T stuff. So they do have Mighty Hoops for this machine. I just don't have it. Hi, Mirna. Wow, it's not even on my face. Do they recycle the magnetic cord? Yes. So the magnetic cords, after you use them, you put them back in the box and you ship them right back to them for free. So, yeah. I have SE 600 I can't seem to do much on it I want to let her applicate but it's not like me it keeps breaking if you know it keeps breaking the tension is probably wrong um and you make sure you're using the right needle you should always use a 75 11 ballpoint needle Yeah, sublimation and a normal, like, heat transfer vinyl, they're two different things. Sublimation transfer is printed, but it's only, you can only use it on things that I think they said 75% or more polyester. Somebody could correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Sunday, yeah, me too. <laughs> a new box shows up every day. <laughs> every day. What machine can I use for all size hoops? Um, well, so I, the six needles, I use the eight by nine Mighty Hoop. Um, so I use that for anything 18 months and bigger is what I use eight by nine Mighty Hoop on. So I don't do any 2T on this one needle. I don't do any 2T. I used to in the beginning only use this and the, the design was just so small. I hated it, but um, because on like the P800, it's this way, but on these machines, on this one, it's this way. So that is tiny. It's only five inches. So it kind of FCKS. <laughs> hey, Pam. I would suggest you get a, um, if you can afford a multi needle, get a multi needle. Hey, Beth. Hey, Joni. Oh, another shout out to Joni. She is the number one top contributor to the Facebook group this week. Again, <laughs> every week she's number one. Somebody tried to beat her. So what that means is in the Facebook group, she comments on everything. She likes everything. She posts something all the time. Joni's still number one. It's been almost, what, two months since I made the Facebook group and every week Joni's number one. <laughs> So somebody tried to beat her. Oh, hi, Shay. All right, let me start cutting this. Well, see, I would use this cricket mat, but see what happened was, ew, let's see how much hair I shed. Riley put it all over the floor and was walking all over it. So there's that. And I need to get another one. I have a huge box of Cricut mats. Um, so if you didn't know, on the Cricut website, they have a bulk section where you can buy the mats. So I bought a box of 25 mats a year ago, and I've only used three mats in a whole year. 
So, brand new. I have a bunch. Um, and you can keep this. I don't keep it. Um, I usually put this in the other room. I have the wall with like a command hook on it, so I just hang it up. But Riley got to it and cut it up and dragged it on the floor and disrespected it. Um, dual soap, let it dry. But would it still be sticky? Alright, I need to cut this. Okay. Um, I wouldn't get it. I don't recommend the SC625. That's too small to me. So, I would do the Cricut over the SC625. Those are your two options. Because the, at least the Cricut, you can do any size, anything. But the SC625, you're very, very limited. That's crazy. I didn't know that. You guys are teaching me things. Um, Karen, so for family matching shirts, I always use the Gildan shirts. Um, I would get them from Joann's when they're on sale or Jiffy shirts or Ali, not Alpha Broder. Alpha Broder, Jiffy shirts has them. Okay, let me start cutting. Well, I need to figure out what size I need. Dun, dun, dun. Cricut design. Oh, I guess I can just show you guys. Let's see if I can figure this out. I'm halfway skilled. Dun, dun. Oh my god, just plug into the charger so I can't move it too far. Can y'all read that? I guess I can just move this over so I can read your guys' comments. Dun, dun. Oh, somebody said, hey, I finally got to see you live. Where'd it go? I lost it. Oh, no. Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Terry. Okay, so this is the shirt I'm going to make. I already have a design, and I save every design I have just so that it makes it easier later. Click customize. Make it smaller. Um, this was when somebody wanted the young to be gold, and I don't want that, so deleted it. Oh, it already made that too big. Okay, so this is the design. And I have two orders for it. So, well, kind of two orders. Somebody wants to order it. They didn't place the order yet. So I highlighted all of it. So you have to make sure you drag and select everything. Because if you only go like this. Oh, well, I still got it. But if you only go like this, you'll miss stuff. And you see, that's still there. So... Make sure you select everything and command C to copy it. And I'm going to paste it because, uh, like I said, I'm making it for two shirts. It's already the size I need it to be um, because I usually, it's the third birthday shirt. So it's always on a 3T. Um, let's see if I can make it bigger. What size is this? It is right here. It says seven and a half inches by seven and eight. 7.8. Okay, I'm gonna delete this and make this one a little bit bigger. Let's make it eight inches. Okay, it's eight inches. Command copy, command V. And then I'm gonna click. I wonder if you guys can even really see this, but maybe if I turn it, you can see it better. Maybe. Well, sorry if you can. Click make it. And it pulls up the mats in all different colors for the vinyl, so the, I always want to call this teal. So it's going to be teal, purple, and pink. And because you're putting this on a shirt, you have to click mirror. Um, And then I like to organize it so that I use not that much vinyl. Let's see how big are these things. Whatever. Move it over. Because I can't cut. Alright. So I move that. 
and so this is like a little crooked and I'm trying to save vinyl space so I'm trying to straighten it out and move it up save me like a quarter of an inch same here move it up and then I'll move this here try to save some space and then the next mat mirror it as well and then make some space make these straight save more space this can fit over here or I'll just leave it here it's fine if I'm lazy and I'm just in a rush then I won't save as much space as I probably should or could but um they do sell the vinyl this is Sizer easy or Caesar easy weed vinyl to me it's my favorite vinyl I know it works and it lasts um yeah so this is what I recommend. A lot of people said they use stuff off Amazon and it sucked. So like I said, I only recommend the Caesar Easy Weed. It's what I use. There's also Stalls' brand stuff, which is good. This is Cricut Design Space. So this is the software that works with your Cricut. It's pretty much, I think you can only use this for your Cricut, I think. Um, is it the Cricut that only does this process? The silhouette does this. It'll split it up, I believe. I was laid off. I was laid off from my job. I have a multi needle machine for about five years. I only make gifts for friends watching you. It has made made me want to start up my business. Go ahead for it, ladybug. <gasps> okay, hi Lisa. So I don't use Cricut vinyl, and let me tell you why. Because it's too expensive. That's really the reason why. Um, I have used the Cricut glitter in an emergency, but one, at least when I used the Cricut glitter, it smelled like paint to me, or not paint, nail polish. So I didn't like that. Um, and like I said, Cricut brand is way too overpriced. So get the Caesar brand, Caesar Easy Weed. It should be linked down below. If not, just Google Caesar, S-I-S-E-R, easy lead. Okay, so then I'm gonna click continue. Oh, cause it's not plugged in. That's why you can't find it. So I always have problems with this part because my machine uh, sucks and it's old and it's been dropped. So it takes a while for it to find my machine. So while it tries to find it, you can look at me instead of that. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm waiting for it to find it, if it does. Um, I'll read comments until then. Oh, it's not on. That's the other reason why it can't be found. Ah. How big of a design inches can be embroidered in a five by seven hoop? Five by seven. So five by seven means five inches by seven inches. So that's your embroidery space. Okay, so the screen's back. My dusty stuff. Okay. Okay, so material set to iron on. Because it is going to be iron on, it's heat transfer vinyl. You make sure it's on the iron on setting. That's controlled by this knob over here. Um, and that's just for normal color, solid color vinyl. Now, if you're going to use glitter, you have to put it on iron-on plus um, because it's thicker. So make sure you remember that. Or you maybe already know. Um, so, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so go, go ahead. Let me go ahead and put this on the mat. Well, I need to figure out how, what sizes I need. <laughs> w brown, it's okay. It's okay. Some people don't, they don't know what it means. It's okay. Um, so the first piece, which is this. Ow. I need eight and a half inches by, oh man. Eight and a half by six and a half. And uh, I would usually measure, measure, but I don't got time to measure, measure. I do have like a measuring tape thing. Let's see. This is 38 inches right here. So, so this is seven inches. Okay, it's fine. Seven by eight. Wow, 
much. I bet this is too small because my pills are not that great. Um, and to me, the easiest thing to do is to cut all your vinyl pieces first so that you can just put them on and keep it moving. This is just the way I like to do it. Everyone has their own method of how they do things. Do whatever you like to do best. Whatever works best for you. This is just what I like to do. Uh, for this one, it needs to be... Oh, yeah, that's another thing. If you hover over it, it'll pull up the mat again so you can double check. Um, Seven by nine in a tiny bit. Seven. And the last color is pink. And I need five and eight. Five and a half. I'll just do six because I can't get straight. Oh, totally straight. Woohoo. Sight. So here's my mat, and make sure you're on the right mat. As you see right here, it's on purple, but I'm just gonna go ahead and order. And put this piece on the mat. Another thing to, look, to know with the mat, which you probably wouldn't know until you, if you haven't used it is, so with the mat, I can't move this because it's plugged into the charger. So it actually doesn't start cutting until like there's like a little bit of extra space. So it's not gonna cut right at this line. It uh it cuts a little bit further over. You can see it on the screen, which I can't move in because my thing needs to stay on the charger. But as you can see, maybe you probably can't. On the screen, it's not touching the edge, the edge right there. So there's a little bit of space. So keep that in mind. Usually when you get any vinyl that is 12 inches by anything, it's usually 11.75 inches, not 12. Just putting it out there. So don't get your vinyl be like, oh my God, they didn't give me everything. They ripped me off. Because that's just how it, it comes. Okay, so it is eight. See, I'm not going to cut straight. My goodness, Angela. Now I have to move this over. Move it over some more. Oops. All right. Oh, thank you, Kathleen, for the super chat. I appreciate it. I click it on my screen. Oh, thank you, Stephanie, for the super chat. I'm trying to click it on my screen. It's not working. Maybe there's another way to do this. Oop. Let me see. Oh, why did I click? Oh. Oh, thank you, Be Embellished, for the super chat. Okay. I think I, I got everybody. Thank you guys so much. Let me find it. I gotta find it. There's so... Guys, please click the thumbs up. Angela's giving... Giving up her time. That's the least we can do. Come on. We can get 300 thumbs up easily. Let's do it. We can do it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Thanks, Lizette. Yeah, that's 360. Got Yo, that's 50%. You got <laughs> Oh, hi, Miracle. I was wondering when you show up, Miracle. <laughs> You're always first to comment. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. There we go. 206. Come on. 212. Okay, I feel like I'm at the uh, auction. You know, uh, I watch Storage Wars, you know, 218. Thank you, guys. If you, and if you don't know, just in case you don't know, you just click X out the chat, and then it's a thumb up. You just click. Thank you. Okay. Well, if you... If if you would like to donate a thousand dollars, I don't know if you're being honest or not, but I would really appreciate that. <laughs> but you click the, the cash symbol at the bottom, and then you just put in one zero zero. <laughs> um, but 
Oh, thank you, Audrey. Thank you, guys. Um, okay, let me go ahead and keep going with this video. All right, so I'm going to put this, this stuff to this. This is behind my computer. Oh, Riley, children, man, find all this random stuff. Um, so on the screen, there's I always put it in fast mode so it cuts faster. If it's like a really intricate design, like a lot of like really small pieces, I wouldn't do it. But I always do fast mode just because I do basic stuff. Okay, so making sure that it is lined up correctly, and it is. And then I'm going to click cut, which is the flashing cricket button, if you guys can see it flashing. Make sure I don't mess stuff on live, that'd be embarrassing. But it happens. It happens. Hey, Leslie. see my face okay. how's it going my headband's falling off because riley stretched it all the way out and i couldn't find another one i recommend caesar s-i-s-e-r <coughs> easy weed um so when i buy oh thank you lena for the super chat oh that's a cute little thing right there thank you um i hope you can still hear me um forgot what I was saying. Oh. Um on if it's like black, I would buy the uh 25 foot rolls, but it depends on how much you want. I don't ever buy less than a yard of anything because it goes so fast. I haven't used principal vinyl before, so I can't really help you with that one. If someone else uses principal vinyl, can you help um Joey out? I think that's what that says. Hi, Cairo. <laughs> oh, no, Jessica. No, I don't do custom transfer logos. Um, the people I get the, um, this is, oh, you can't see, but the people I get my screen print transfers from, uh, I put them in the, the, bleh, I can't talk. I put them in the top secret file, because a lot of people add, have that question. Um, let me add that as well as the Etsy course and link it down below. Business edumacation. Yeah, get your edumacation, guys. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't tell you. So, we have two new ribbon colors. Um, well, depending on how new you are. So, I'll just go from last week. So, last week we got light blue, royal blue, and indigo. And then this week, yesterday, was it yesterday? We got coral and a Tiffany blue. So, they're both listed on the website. They're both 100-yard rolls, double-faced satin. Um, and as I keep saying, any other colors you guys would like, just uh, let me know. You can email me. You can comment them down right here in the chat, Thingy my Bobber. So, yeah, let me know. I got the rock button. Oh, my goodness. Command C. And go ahead and join the Facebook group, guys. Oh, yeah, I will be doing a giveaway soon. So make sure you're in the Facebook group. Oh, we just hit 44,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. So, yes, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. It's free. And then if you want, you could also hit the notification bell. So every time I upload a video, you'll be notified right away. I took it off already. Next color. Is... What's the next color? What's the next color? Cricut Design Space. 
What's the best to do tags for clothing? I don't do tags, so I can't really help you. I know some people do like the stamp tags. Shay O'Neal, the group is linked down in the description to this video, but it's called Embroidery Help and Motivation by Angela Jasmina. Let me put this, purple is next. Ooh, that's perky. It's easier to do this standing up. Oh my goodness. New mat problems. Everything gets stuck so fast. No. Oh, you guys can't see me messing up good. <laughs> Also, when you're putting vinyl on, you want to make sure you get all the air bubbles out. Get them out. Let me make sure this is big enough. It needs to be a little bit past seven. So yeah, it's fine. Okay, that's right. Ooh, back to me. I feel like I want a commercial. No, is it stuck? Oh, girl. Oh, well, it's going to be stuck. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Donna. Hola, Linda. <clears throat> okay, Keenan should be accepting people into the Facebook group right now. So if you request to join, um, he'll go ahead and accept you. Oh, Prosa, with the... Let me go grab it. Oh. can't hear me i don't know okay so this is the usps shoe box it's called it says mailing box but like down here it says shoe box so when you're using it on etsy you just put in the size so i would just round up so eight by i can't read on the camera eight by five by 15 just put those numbers in so you would just click let me look on etsy Thank you, Hope, for the copy. Oh, just want you to know that you appreciate it. Thank you. That's so sweet. Okay, let me go back to the shoe box. I can't even remove this. Okay, let me look on Etsy to see how to explain it. I can't really show you just because it'll be somebody's actual information. And I can't give away somebody's actual information. Do you know, please hold while the part of your reach is located. Okay, I'm weird. It's okay. Everybody knows it already. Um, oh my God, it's 8.30. Okay. I click get shipping labels. And then where it says, I wish I could show this to you. Is there a way? Where's Riley's stickers? When I need her stickers, they're not here. Okay. Here we go. Use stabilizer. Stabilizer came in handy. And Riley's saline spray she brought down here. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Oh, no, it's not going to reach. Okay, I'm going to unplug it for the charger then. Okay. Let's see. My crusty wall. Okay. So, this is how Etsy's shipping looks. So, you would put the package weight. Most outfits don't even weigh. Oh, stuck to my arm. Don't even weigh three pounds, but I'm just going to put three pounds. And then package type, you would select package thick envelope is what I always choose. Cause it's not flat, it's not a letter, it's not a roll, it's not a mailing tube, it's not irregular. So you just click package thick envelope and then you would put the length. So I said it was like 15 by eight by five. And by five. And then it gives you the price. Can you see that? It says nine fifty four for the price. So that's it. That's all you do. Hope that help. Ooh, hope that helped, Rosa. My messy place. You ain't supposed to see all that. Y'all already coming from my life talking about my house is so dirty. It's okay. I'm just gonna use the excuse of cleaning my garage, guys. That's why it looks like this, okay? Um 
Next color. I did this one. It's pink. Hi, Alejandra. Oh, Bernice, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. And let me put this in the right order. It's supposed to be pink, right? Yes. Rosa. Oh, my God. Okay, let me not make this crooked. Because, you know, you can already see that it's... You probably can't tell on camera. It looks straight. Oh my god, it's hard to keep up with everybody joining the group. <laughs> but thank you guys. We started the group with like two, maybe maybe two months ago, and we're almost at 4,000 members in the group. Five and a half. Five, five, and perfect. Okay, cool. Lock it in. This is crooked. I'm not trying to move nobody. There's a child coming downstairs because I hear footsteps. I'm looking for man. Oh, thank you, Kayla. That goes to show how much people appreciate what you do and the time it takes you to instruct. Oh, thank you. Um, you mean the five by twelve hoop? People do use it um, because they can do bigger shirts on it. I missed something. Do I use the same size hoop for all sizes of kids' t-shirt? Yes, I use the eight by nine mighty hoop for 18 month, two T, three T, four T, five T, six, eight, 10, 12. I use it for everything. Can you embroider on crocheted items? Um, honestly, I'm not sure. I want to say possibly, but again, maybe it depends on how tightly crocheted it is. Actually, somebody did do it. In the group, somebody had posted it. I thought it was broken, but I forgot. It's just a straight line that's cutting. Um, I'm making a shirt that says Young, Wild, and Three. I'm just cutting two of them now because like I have one order for it, but somebody else said they wanted it and they needed it by Tuesday. Um, so I know that if I only cut the one order I have, I know they're gonna place the order the second I finish. So I'm just gonna cut both and if she doesn't order it, eh, it's okay. Why did I put the vinyl upside down? So that's how you're supposed to cut the vinyl on here because it mirrors it. This right here, this side is the side that adheres to the shirt. Um, the top, so the top is the plastic carrier piece. That's what this is. And this is not going to adhere to the shirt. This is just, to, it's, it's a carrier sheet. Just transfer. It transfers it. So once I weed this, which I always do on my heat press, I don't do it like this because it's freaking horrible. I'm going to go cross side doing this. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, just to show you. So, you gotta put it this way because when you cut it, you wanna cut the actual uh, material that you're gonna be using. So, if you put it this way, you'll be cutting the plastic, not the, uh, the transfer. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. I don't know how else to explain that. Um, so, yeah. I guess I could just pull this since I already started and see what happens. Who taught you how to embroider? Have you always been this crafty? I would never say I was never crafty. A lot of people know I was into police, uh, courts, criminal justice stuff. Yo, I'm hearing things. It scared the mess out of me. Okay, so. Um, yeah. Oh, I watched Pam's, aka Sterling Styles video on how to embroider a onesie. 
and then that's how I learn. Yes, shiny side always face down. Um, am I gonna homeschool Riley or should we want a public school? That depends on, well, I guess homeschooling. Uh, oh no, I'm not gonna homeschool her. It's either gonna be private school or public school, depending on where, where we move to. Oh, that's a good point. So iron on vinyl. So this is for shirts. So heat transfer vinyl, shiny side face down. But she said normal vinyl. So like maybe if you're putting it on cups or decals, that goes uh, opposite. Can you do a video on how to make a 33 color ribbon tutu? No, I cannot do that. <laughs> I don't even have 33 colors. I think you mean just three. <laughs> Um, yeah, I could do that. Um, are you, you, you're using transfer vinyl. What else transfers to close? What else transfers to close? I'm not understanding your question. If you're asking what else this can be put on, I don't know. Maybe that's what you're asking, maybe not, but he transfer vinyl, you can put on a lot of different materials. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Sonya. Love your fabric holder. Is it specifically for fabric? No. These actually come with two more shelves. A store closed and my father-in-law got them for me. I freaking, yeah. Do you think it's a good to start an Etsy business while going through a hard time right now with this virus? I'm afraid if I start, I won't have supplies because everything is closing. So, I think a lot of you guys already watched my videos. <laughs> I think right now is a good time to start your Etsy because right now what Etsy is doing is they are paying... Um, ads themselves so five million dollars in off-site ads meaning instagram maybe youtube facebook they're advertising everything at no cost to you on off-site but you do i believe you still need to be running normal ads even if it's just like a dollar a day i think you still need to be running normal ads um that is that never happens and obviously what's going on has never happened um so i don't think it's a um I just don't think it's a bad time to start. I feel like this is honestly like the best time to start because creating items takes time. And if you're already home, just make them. Because my problem is I always wanna make, 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 but I don't ever have the time to do it because I'm always like, well, I need to go to the store, I need to run here, I need to run there. Now I can't go anywhere. So what, what excuse do I have now? Have you guys seen the meme that was like, my excuse for my house being dirty is that I'd never have time but now that I realize I'm home all the time, if that wasn't the reason, I'm like, that's so true. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, this is Caesar vinyl. John, thank you so much. Thank you for the coffee donation. I really appreciate it, John. And Lucy's Little Boutique, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody else. <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, Next thing I would suggest with these, I don't use these scissors. I have scissors that are black. They're non-stick scissors because this is sticky and it'll mess up your scissors. So I can't even cut this right now because I don't have any pieces. How do you do the coffee donations? Um, you guys either, some people cash at me, some guys, some guys, some people pay me through PayPal and then some send super chats and then I go buy coffee. What will you do with your other machines? When I get a Melco, what will I do with my other machines? Um, I'll probably keep them all. 
Um, yeah. I, I keep them. How long have I been making tutus? How old is Riley? <laughs> Three and a half years. Do you have a video on how to use Cricut and how to make things? Um, I have a video where I... Oh, I'm talking so loud. My goodness. <laughs> I have... <laughs> I have a video where I show you guys how I add names. Um, so I guess it would be kind of a tutorial. It's... If you search Cricut in my videos, it'll pop up. I'm thinking... Would you guys prefer me to, like, make more playlists on my YouTube and like categorize things because I feel like I have so many videos that it's hard to for you guys to find what you're looking for. So maybe like do a, a Brother P800 section and then Brilliance Essential section, a Cricut section. Would that be better? Okay. Hey Jennifer. Awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Judy. Oh, thank you, Janie. Oh, I did. I don't know if Erica's watching. Erica, thank you so much for the uh, the baby soap, the baby lotion. I use it on Roman. Dude, it worked. <laughs> Roman had really bad uh, eczema on his neck. Oh, thank you, Brittany, for the coffee. Um, And I used that, and it worked. He's been scratching his neck, but he wasn't able to sleep at night because he kept scratching, 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 and he cut it with his nails. But I used that, and almost in like two days, gone. So thank you. I appreciate it. I get my tool from bbcrafts.com. Guys, I... <laughs> I've been, my garage has changed since you guys last saw the video of me uh, working in the garage. I've done a lot. Um, you guys saw me put that tool away in the garage. But guys, I have that huge order of 50 bolts of tool coming tomorrow. That was the other thing. So like BB Crafts is confusing a lot of people because you guys saw, they emailed me and said they were closing. And any orders placed Friday would ship Friday. Um, and my order shipped on Tuesday because they said uh, they emailed somebody else and said they'll try to process the rest of the orders next week, which is this whole week. And then with somebody else, they emailed them and said two orders will still be shipping, but some orders with ribbon would not because their ribbon is a different warehouse and they have they don't have access to it because of everything going on. So I don't I don't know, but I know you could still place your orders for BB Crafts. Thank you, Jenny, for the... Couldn't figure out how to send more. <laughs> the few cups of energy. Oh, thank you, Jenny. I really appreciate it. I thought I linked this down below. I didn't put the top secret down below. Let me put that. And the Etsy course is not down below either. Oh, yeah. A lot of you guys want me to... I'm going to do it. I promise. I'll probably do it this weekend since Kenan's here. Um, a lot of you guys wanted me to add a video in the Etsy course on how to list the outfits because it's multiple options like a top, top a tutu, top tutu headband, or just the tutu only. So I will be adding that um, probably this weekend. And like I told you guys, whatever like course you buy from me, anytime I add anything, it's free. Nothing, no extra cost to you. It'll be there. You'll get a. a it's gonna be the same link if you bought the Etsy course. It's the same exact link. It'll just be a new video that pops up. So instead of it being nine videos, it'll be ten. Or eight, eight or nine, something like that. <laughs> Alright, let me put the top secret in the description. And then the Etsy course I'll put in the description. Etsy course. Do, do, do. Man, control the coffee. Sounds like Riley's having a dance party upstairs. Do, okay. Steve. Okay, so they've both been 
added. So the Etsy course is listed in the description as well as on the top secret. And then you have to refresh the video to see it. Um, need my I'm trying to find um, the course isn't virtual. Um, the course is I already pre recorded the videos and I literally show you like a create an Etsy shop from scratch with you, and you see how I list everything and the importance of how to like find the right titles and the right tags to use in your, in your listings for your items. Um, the best machine for startup embroidery is a brother PE 800. More brilliance videos. So the scrap and diva, what exactly would you like me to show you in embrilliance? Cause that's kind of, it, it'd be easier if you, if I have like a list of things you would like me to show you. So that way I can just do a video off that. Cause I get stuck. I'm like, well, I did this already. What do they want to know? So I can do that. If there's like a list, if you want to email me a list, um, of questions that you guys have for Brilliance, I can try to make a video with it. Thanks, girl. I just want you to know I look up to you a lot. You're a wonderful person. I hope to grow like you. Hope to meet you one day. Your kids are adorable. You're a blessing. Oh, thank you, your friend from your friend. I made one for my granddaughter for St. Patrick's Day, and it was actually really cute with a St. Patrick's unicorn. Oh. I'm trying to find a rack to hold my fabric bolts. The ones that hold your ribbon, will will those work for it? The ones that hold your ribbon will work. These are, oh, I see what you're saying. The ones that are in the garage. No, I don't believe they would work because I think they'd fall right through because there's nothing on the sides. Like you see how these on the side, oh, these <laughs> have like, oh, this way have the oh, right there have these uh little line thingies so it stops it from falling over the one there in the garage there's nothing on the side as a barrier it would just go Pew. um but no if you go down to this video and then it says my must have embroidery slash tutu supplies if you click on that link let me just show you let me just show you if i can see it and not make it blurry oh. No, is that the right word? Can you see? This is gonna see up my nose, watch. You click, it says I must have embroidery tutu supplies. And then it takes you here and embroidery room storage. I have four lists on here. Whoop! Mm, my big old hand. Okay, there's four lists. My embroidery supply list, tutu supplies, embroidery room storage and shipping supplies. So you click on the list and these are the shelves that I found that are very similar that you can use to store your fabric or anything else you want to store. So they're linked here. So it's in the description. Oh, let me find the video now. It's right here where it says my must have embroidery tutu supplies in the description. Whew, my face turned red. Um, BB. Oh, I I just I did answer that question. I don't know if you listened to the question. Oh, okay. So. Someone just emailed me while I was speaking to them earlier. They had ordered tool and ribbon from BB Crafts and um, they're only shipping tool. They only, she ordered three ribbons. They only shipped her one ribbon and then refunded the other two because it's another other warehouse and they have no access to it. So that is what is going on with BB Crafts. So I have ribbon. If you guys want to buy a ribbon for me, kidscustomdesigns.com. Um, let's see. Hola, Menizones. Siempre veo sus videos. Tienes muy bellos materiales. Saludos desde República Dominicana. Bendiciones. Hola, a, I don't know if it's Asia. I don't know how to say it in Spanish. As, Asia? Hey, Tanja. You are bomb. Yeah, I'm the bomb.com. Okay, let me stop being corny before Keenan disowns me. 
My next payday, I'll be getting your course. I need serious help with my tags and titles. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, good place to buy wholesale t-shirts. It depends on what you want them for. There's Jiffy shirts. There's Alpha Broder. There's my nose is itching. No, I don't sell pre-cut tool anymore. It was killing me. <laughs> I'm not doing that. So no, I do not sell tool on my website. Oh, B, B crafts, not baby crafts. B, B, I see what, <laughs> I see what you're saying now, Sue. Letter B, letter B, crafts.com. Man, there's a lot of questions. Oh, thank you. So if I order my shirts from arbblanks.com, they're currently closed. Some people say they're actually canceling the orders. I don't know. If they're canceling them or just not. Because I know they're completely closed because they can't be open. Um, I didn't know if they were just leaving the orders and then shipping them later. Um, and next, maybe May or something. Or if they just cancel them all together. Um, but the other option is Blank's Boutique. I was going to say BB, <laughs> BB Boutique. <laughs> but Blank'sBoutique.com. Kayla, I do ship ribbon to Canada. Now, it's expensive to ship to Canada. What a few people are doing is they get it shipped. If Nicole, Nicole, are you in here? Nicole gets it shipped somewhere in New York that is, I guess, really close to the Canada border, like really close. So she just gets U.S.-based shipping prices and just picks it up and then goes home. So she orders, like, I guess I shouldn't give her information. But you can order, like, once, like order a month's supply so that you only have to drive once um, to pick it up. That way it saves you a lot of money on shipping. Oh, Kathleen. Oh, I knew I forgot to do something. I was supposed to put that in the group. Thank you. I'll do that. Keenan, remind me, abbreviations to put in the group. I'll put it under the files. Is an 8x8 hoop big enough? To put a design on a five, yes. Yep. So for the eight by eight hoop, I use that um, for everything up to a size 12 shirt, 12 girls. Ooh, Sunday, you just bought the Etsy course. Congratulations, and I wish you so much success in your Etsy shop. Oh, Nicole, here you are. So, Nicole, I know you live in Canada. So, where in New York do you ship it to? Is it like a UPS store or USPS or something like that? Where do you ship it to? I get a lot of people asking me, but I don't know. For sure. How big hoop used on Brother B800? Oh, the Brother, I think you mean P800? The PE800? It comes with a 5x7 hoop, but they do make a 5x12 repositional hoop you can get on Amazon. Hey there, so happy to see you on tonight. You are awesome, and I am loving the Etsy course. Oh, thank you, Penny. I'm glad you liked it. I've been getting so much good feedback on the course. I was always nervous. I was nervous to, to do it, but I you guys love it, so thank you. I really appreciate it. I like when people appreciate me. And I appreciate you guys. Uh, up. Oh, I said ups in Odensburg. <laughs> UPS in Odensburg. So if you live in Canada, the UPS in Odensburg is where you can get a ship to. I don't make face masks. Danny said the course is amazing. I need to get it. Oh, hey, Kristen. Yeah, Danny and Jessica use it. Oh, Jessica, dang. <laughs> oh, was that too loud? Keenan can never disown me. Ah! Keenan, can you disown me? No answer, it's quiet. Maybe they all fell asleep. Oh, hold on. You would disown me, Keenan? <laughs> Hi, 
Lina. Uh, he said yes. Okay. You literally got me off my butt and gave me the confidence to start my own shop. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Penny. Janice, oh, thank you for buying the top secret. That's pretty much where you can get your uh, embroidery machines cheaper. Um, there's also a deal on the Melco machines, the 16 needles, new Melco EMT 16X. That is in the top secret file. It's okay, just get stuff listed and then you can publicize your shop. Yeah, yeah, George. Keenan behave. The Etsy course, it's linked down below. Um, if if you click refresh on the video, because I don't know how soon you came in. I listed it like 20 minutes ago in the um in the description to the video, but it says Etsy success course and there's a link. It's kidscustomdesigns.com in the business education tab. Oh yeah, you can't cross the border right now. That's true. Oh yeah, Nicole. I'm sorry. Keep on doing amazing work. Never forget about that. You inspire people. Oh, thank you, King Elite. Keenan tells me that all the time. Sometimes I feel sad, and I, I'm I'm a human, so I can feel sad. But sometimes I get a little down, and then you guys send me emails, and you say I inspire you, and Keenan tells me that all the time. People look up to you. You're so nice. You're a great person. All these nice things. So thank you guys. And I'm not gonna cry because Jessica will make fun of me later. <laughs> okay, Jessica. Oh, hold on. She said BRB. Okay, Skibiki. How long that deal be going on for Melko girl? Kristen, uh I think it's who I just saw Keenan has it in the email. I wanna say at least the next two weeks. It's almost, I'm tripping. I thought that thing was moving behind me. <laughs> it, no, the top secret file is only good if you live in the U.S. You're the bomb, baby. Oh, thank you, baby. Hi, Nike. Oh, I'm a gift. Thank you, Norma. That's so sweet. You doing okay with this quarantine? I said that earlier. I have always home. <laughs> I'm always here. <laughs> it's just now it's like you, you can't leave, but I didn't leave anyways. That's that's it. Never doubt your ability. You're fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I don't have a person to take me across the border. <laughs> that's that sounds funny. Uh in August, I'm gonna jump on the machine. I'm in in August, March, April, May, June, July. Maybe I could talk to them and see what they say. Uh, Kristen, if you would like me to talk to them, I could see what they say. Are you the one that responds to the live chat on your website? That's all I'm gonna say. Um, it's either me or Keenan. Yeah, you can't cross the border right now. How long does it take USPS to send boxes normally? I ordered about three weeks ago, and I'm still waiting. Oh, Vera, it depends on where you live. Um, I've never had to wait three... Well, no, because of what's going on right now, yes. It may be taking a little bit longer, honestly. Um, usually, it's like a week and a half to two weeks is how long it takes me to get my boxes. Um, it depends on where it's shipping from and how much you order. But I order a lot, and I usually get them. And my post office person hates me. Um, Don't ever get down. Just think you got people all over who think you're awesome. Thank you. Oh, I showed too much gum. I'm a homebody by nature, so I'm good, LOL. Yep, I like to sit and watch TV. But lately, I've been busy, guys. Mm. Yep, yeah, y'all want to know what that surprise is. But guess what I'm not going to tell you? Yep. Yeah. Um, 
I need to grocery shop and I really don't want to take that baby up. Yeah, I'm home. I'm home. Why are we not Facebook friends? Ha ha ha. I was just reading your stuff. That wasn't laughing. <laughs> I wasn't laughing at you like that. I don't know. I have a lot of Facebook friend requests. Mama Hippie. Hey, from North Georgia. What sizes are you limited to with a 5x7 hoop? Um, it depends on which way your 5x7 hoop is. These machines, all my machines behind me, the big machines, the 5x7 is this way. So this is tiny. This is only 5 inches this way. And this way, to me, this is only good enough for onesies or like a 12-month t-shirt. This way, it's good for, to me, probably at least up to a size 8. Um, and then you can get the repositional hoop for like the 10, size 10, size 12. But this is perfect for um, your designs. Because even with these machines, my design is still normally only 5 inches wide. <laughs> you make me love this work and the way how you how to do your work. Oh, thank you. I am scared to start up a small embroidery business with this new situation. Is it affecting your business? So, how do I explain this? So, it affects, it's affecting everybody in some way or another. But as I said in my last video, I don't know how many of you guys watched my last video. This is a test. What am I going to say, guys? Are y'all loyal? <laughs> um, all just aside, um, so I make birthday shirts. A lot of us make birthday shirts. And... Kids cannot have birthday parties right now like they want. They can have it with their, a little bit of their family, but they can't have like the birthday party with all their friends. They can't have that right now. So what parents are doing is they'll, they're actually more likely to buy the child a birthday shirt now just to make them feel a little bit more special on their birthday since they can't go out and have a huge party. So instead of spending like $500 on a birthday party, they will buy a shirt at least. Um, outfits, maybe not just because... Um, you know, it's not, you're not taking pictures right now, but the shirt definitely, it just makes baby, a baby, but that's what I call children. It makes the kids feel a little bit more special on their birthday and makes, puts a smile on their face. Something that they can open and see their name on it. So I definitely know they are definitely ordering shirts. I have gotten a few outfit orders um, in the past few days. So I know they're still ordering outfits, but again, I do believe everything is going to pick up again. I would say in the next week to two weeks because uh stuff's gonna start changing all the quarantine may slow down i don't know exactly what's gonna happen but they will pick up because people order for for i'm getting orders right now for may and june so by july people are still gonna order and a lot of people are ordering earlier now just in case anything happens they want to make sure they still have the outfit in time sure y'all you crack me up i actually laugh out loud <laughs> no i don't have the cr the cricket maker i just have the explore air 2. do you get a lot of dms on facebook yes yes and on instagram yes and i guys i can't respond to everything there's so many and i'm like oh my god what if i had like a million subscribers what would i do yeah i get a lot Hi, I'm from Southern California. I received my order today. Thank you. Oh, thank you for ordering. And like I tell you guys, like sometimes if you get your ribbon and it's pink and it says purple on it, that's Riley. Okay. Like I said, this is a family owned business. Riley packages stuff with me. She loves to do it. So, or if like you get coloring on your box, that's Riley too. Have to keep her entertained, guys. Um, can you use the same vinyl for embroidery applique? The only vinyl you can use for embroidery and for embroidery applique and normal vinyl is glitter vinyl. You cannot use, this is all stuck now. You can't use this vinyl, the plain solid colors because it'll just rip a hole. This is what I use, it's thicker um, and it's textured. So this holds up for embroidery. Um, the other thing is you must heat this after you embroider. I always heat my shirt anyways because I tend to touch, but you must turn the shirt right side out and heat it. And for like 10 seconds, heat this onto the shirt. That's the way it doesn't come up when it's washed, nothing. It, it's adhered to the shirt. It's just like heat and bond. That's how I explain it. It sticks it to the shirt. 
Um, can you go over how to take pictures of our products for Etsy? I'll be doing a video, but if you're in the Facebook group, I did share the light box that I use for my videos. So that's in there. See you guys, look, I, it's just an Etsy message. I told you if I did not make cut her, st ooh, if I didn't cut the, the lady's order out, she was gonna order it, I cut it. She's getting ready to order it right now. So yay, Etsy order. You are beyond, no, it wasn't beyond. Beyond was a stress, sorry, let me read that again. You are beyond amazing. <laughs> what drew me to your YouTube videos is your attention to detail. I placed an order and got a personal T-Y. Oh, a personal thank you. <laughs> I was like, a, <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, thank you, Cindy. And thank you for supporting my micro small business. I really appreciate it. I just want to know I can be like, hey, girl, or George. So look here. I need. You're going to turn into Pam. Pam's my homie. She'll be like, Angela, do you have any of this secretly hidden? If I if I if something's out of stock on the website, she, she messaged me because usually what happens happens is I do have a little bit more stock. Oh, my battery's gonna die. But because sometimes Angela wants to be creative, I don't. I, I need my own ribbon too. So Pam always hits me up like, Yo, do you got what I need? Keenan, are you here or are the kids sleep? Are they sleep? Are you sleep? That's the real question. Let's see if Keenan responds. Hope your mom and family are doing well. Yes, everyone's doing well so far. I'm telling my mother to stay home. She needs to stay home. Mother, if you're watching this, stay home. En la casa. Quédate. En la casa. It's a Melco. Wink, wink. That's not what the surprise is, guys. It's not the milk coat is not the surprise. Um, you are so creative. Keep pushing. You inspire tons of people. Oh, thank you, Silva. Roman sleep good. Rotate the design for the hoop angle. Oh, I'm it. Well, see that would work. I thought about that, but the problem is. When I hoop it, like hoop a onesie, it can only go in this way. So I, I actually, like, I did think that, but it didn't work because um, to put, I don't float it. I actually hoop it. So when I put it on the machine, let me show you guys this way. It could only go on this way because of the opening of the shirt. You know, the neck is here and then the opening of the back of the bottom of the shirt is here. So it has to go in this way. So the design has to be this way. It can't be this way because otherwise the shirt would be sideways. Hope that makes sense. The Brother Luminaire. Um, I don't know if your name is France or Francie. Um, so... When it comes to embroidery machines... The Brother P800 is my starter machine, period. Now, I know they have, like, the same type of setup, like the flat machine, just the higher, like, the bigger models. Um, but I honestly don't, I, I personally just wouldn't recommend those if, if you want to make this a business business just for this reason. You have to sit there and hold the shirt, and it that just takes up so much time. So I always recommend getting a machine like this. Even though it's still one needle, you don't have to sit there and watch the shirt the whole time. You can leave it um, and go do other things while it's running. Um, when you have to sit there and hold it, that that takes time. I'll just say that. That's me personally. But if you don't mind and you want to do it, go ahead. By all means, do it. But if it's like when the machines end up being like $3,500, to me, I'm like, just spend the extra 1000 and get something like that. You can get it financed um usually brother and baby lock and most places use synchrony i know Recoma also uses synchrony to finance machines and they usually have zero interest for most most of the time 
So that's what I would do. Personally, that's my opinion. I just, I was originally going for like a Luminaire, like one of the, like what Danny had, something like that, that just had a bigger hoop size than the 5x7. But I'm like, just might as well get the one that will save me the most time. I'm just all about saving time, saving time. Any To me, every minute counts. Your time is so valuable. Um, and if you can save any amount of time to to go spend time with your kids, spend time with your family, spend time with Keenan. I remember this time. <laughs> um, then why not? It, all the machines will pay themselves off right away. Well, not right away. It'll take a little bit of time. But they'll pay themselves off. I'm so far behind. Yeah, the Luminaire is not a cheap machine. So, yeah, if it's not cheap, then I, I definitely would not. I would get um, a, a bigger machine, the Baby Lock Alliance or such. Oh, here they come. Well, my, this, this one needle, I got ripped off because I didn't know anything. A lot of you guys who bought the top secret already know. I got ripped off for this machine. So I would just tell you, you should pay $4,500-ish for this machine. It's that, don't be an idiot. I paid way too freaking much because I didn't know any better. <laughs> tell my mother, yes. <laughs> Hi, Lu, Luana. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Kristen, I love Pam. I love Danny. I love Jessica. And, oh, and you. And you, Angela. I'm last. I'm offended. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, good night, Craft in Pink. Hi, Erica. Do I heat and bond all my work? Yes, I heat and bond every piece of cotton fabric that I put on my stuff. On vinyl, you do not put any heat and bond on it. Do you allow yourself only six to eight hours of work making things and then spend the time with your family? So, yeah, so what I do now is I probably physically make shirts or tutus three hours out the day, three to four. Um... Most of the day, I'm with the kiddos, literally all day with the kiddos, and that's about it. And then I go to bed. Not really. Roman keeps me up all night, <laughs> but that's what I do. Your hair grows so fast. It seemed like yesterday that you cut it. Oh, thank you. My hair's actually been falling out like crazy, like crazy. That's why I have the headband on. I'm like losing all my hair. Oh, that's, uh, what's it called? Not the word, but hopefully when, it said like when Roman's like six months, it'll start to subside, but I'm losing so much hair. Let me keep going. How do you save all your embroidery on your laptop or a USB? I'm starting to buy embroidery files and don't want my laptop to be overloaded. Um, so I have a, uh, you can get a external hard drive. That way if your computer crashes or something, you always have them backed up. Danny has a brother. She's having so many problems with her bobbin casing. Yes, yeah, she has a brother in Novus. Uh, I just think that she ended up being a bad one. Um, so, yeah. Where do you purchase your fabrics behind you in bulk? I don't buy it. I didn't buy any of these in bulk. I just bought them from Joann's and bought the whole bolt of it. They let you do that when it's on sale is when I do it. Man. I'm 15 months post having Kenley and my hair is fall. Why would you tell me that? Give me hope. Hope. Like, I would have not cut. I would have not. Wow. I wouldn't have cut my hair had I thought this was going to happen. Like, my hair was so long and now I just have nothing. 
just falling out. Um, good night, Lily Crafts. Judy with the postpartum alopecia. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the uh for the big words, Judy. <laughs> Kenan's accepting people into the group. Yeah, and Brilliance does have uh good videos um on YouTube as well. They have their own YouTube channel. Be careful of the <laughs> Yeah, don't lose your entire external hard drive. Maybe get two. Um, and then like maybe make it like a bright color so that you don't lose it. Yeah, don't stress so much. See, I am a stress person. That's just how my how I function. I function on my stress. <laughs> that sounds crazy, but I I stress a lot, but yeah. Um Okay, shout out to you, Carrie. Subscribe to the channel. Um, I have seven kids. What well, hasn't fallen out and pulled? <laughs> That's a lot of kids, but hey, I, I I couldn't. But you have seven kids. All boys, girls mixed. What if it was all? Maybe like it's all boys and then one girl at the end. Uh, no, I haven't. Protein deficiency. Who <laughs> Riley's calling me? I use medium weight uh, tearaway stabilizer. Um, when I had the PE 770, I used medium tearaway world. I look cross. -eyed. World, uh, it's not wiener. World wine whiner. Well, let Riley fall asleep then. If she's falling asleep, let her fall asleep. It's her bedtime. It, it will grow back. That's normal. After birth, then we are coming out of the winter dry season two. Once your hormones regulate, all will be well. I hope so. I hope so. I had to say a little bit afraid I'm a machine hoarder and I know I'm going to end up buying a machine. What machine do you have? Struggling with thread breakage when getting dense areas of design would slowing machine help. Yes, yeah, slow you could slow down your machine. Um the other thing is Aubrey, I don't know if you have in brilliance. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to go in a second. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, if you have in brilliance, when you save your stitch file as, if there's like satin stitches that overlap, it'll remove them, remove hidden stitches is what it's called, so that you don't have satin overlapping satin and embroidering, because that does cause your uh, needle to break. Oh. <sighs> Yes, L Scraper. The P800 is a good machine to start with. Oh, thank you, Franchi. Are you ever going to sell thread in your shop? Um, For right now, I don't think so. I thought about it. I just have to, I'd have to, you know, find good quality thread. Um, But then there's like a lot of color. There's like a lot that goes into that. Be a lot of colors I'd have to have. Madeira, let me supply you. No, I, I think to be a supplier for Madeira, you have to buy like, probably like $100,000. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, thank you, Kelsey. Hi, Helen. Um, I'm new at to sell. How do you post all your products? Do you make one and post and sell it as a sample or do you keep it to Ruby Designs? Um, I make, you make samples, you don't use t-shirts, you use a fabric, and then take pictures, but I gotta go, I gotta go put Riley to bed, so, yep, mommy duties, so I will see you guys later, don't forget to join the Facebook group, it's linked down below, Embroidery and Help Motivation by Angela, 
If you're looking to start your Etsy course and you want to make sure you're um, starting off the right way, it helps increase sales. You can buy the Etsy course listed down below, Etsy Success. I show you how to um, list your items appropriately, about what you should put in your pictures, um, descriptions, all things like that. I walk you right through it. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Good night. And those in the Facebook group, we'll talk later. <laughs> um, and don't forget to join the Facebook group because I will be doing a giveaway. Okay, bye. If I can click bye. Okay, it's not going to let me close. I'm just going to sit here and look at you guys until I can figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> bye.